Okay, we've got our 3D printer all the way together. After much wangling with the wiring uh, and adjustment of things, um, we've even got the FSRs, the force sensing resistors, uh, in place under the pads here. Uh, you can see there's little pieces of cork on top of them that just keeps all of the weight of the glass onto them so that they're at their max sensitive. Uh, what we're going to show you here is the homing procedure. Um, you've got a uh, proner face here open um, and you've connected. We're going to assume you've already done that. Uh, down at the bottom uh, you'll type G28 and that's our homing procedure. And when you type that um, what happens is it homes itself and you'll see each of those bounces into the end stop and then uh, if you want to do G29 uh, that does our auto level and this is really cool our auto calibration um, watch what happens when we hit this right now it's uh, calculating what flat should be and looking for it there and then resetting all of the configurations so that was auto calibration and it works really slick with that FSRs. Welcome back. We're here with our mini Cosmo 3D printer. Uh, we finished putting it together and hooking it up and uh, adjusting it and, and now it seems to be printing pretty good. Uh, we started off printing these little uh, test cubes there, um, figuring that out and getting to the point where the, the sides were straight and all. Uh, putting a fan pointed toward the work helped quite a bit, keeping the edges from slumping, especially uh, on the edges that are away from where the fan's blowing onto the to the hot end. Um, and then we also even printed out a little uh, spinning top last night, so that was kind of cool. And now we're, we're printing out the top for the LCD controller, so now the 3D printer is now printing out parts for itself. Uh, so I consider this project a success. Thanks for watching, and uh, check back soon for the rest of the build log. It's going to take me probably a few more days to put all that together.